Hi, Jojo and Gabrielle. It's an honor to be here with you both today. Same. Thank you so much, Tammy. How your day going? It's going amazing. Being here with you two, my entire day is made. I watched the first three oh. episodes of season two. Job well done. Oh my gosh, congratulations. Premiering tomorrow mm -hmm. on BET and BET Her. Jojo, oh my gosh. Patty, her character just going through the most, okay? Trying to figure out <laughs> love life, career, finances, the worst. Mm -hmm. But she has a solid tribe in Nia and Marie. That's what you yeah. need in life is your tribe. How important it is for Hattie to have Nia and Marie around at this point in Hattie's life? I think it's essential. You know, um, Hattie, the only other relationship we've established is her relationship with her mother, who, you know, she has all the best intentions, but she can, you know, you know, that old school thinking of going and get that that more secure job, the job that's going to, you know, get you the paycheck and stuff like that, which is absolutely fine and understandable. Um, but I think that Hattie um, needs Marie and Nia because they see the potential in her too. And they also understand the process of getting into the industry a lot better than their, than her mom. So they know that it's not, it's not a clear cut path. And also it can be a bumpy road, you know? So um I think that in terms of her achieving, they're absolutely essential. Awesome. Gabrielle, oh my gosh, I just love your character, Nia. You are just a fresh, a, a, breath, a, a breath of fresh air for sure. What do you enjoy most about playing your character and what do you hope the audience reaction be for this season? Um, I enjoy it most. I think Nia's just a lot more confident and happy and more positive than me. Uh, I'm really, I can be really hard on myself and I get really nervous and in my head. And Nia's just like, she's not that at all. So to be able to get out of my head for those moments when I'm acting is so much fun. Um, and then what was the second question? What was the second part? What do you want the audience reaction to be for this season? The audience reaction to me be, I mean, I feel like I already know what it's gonna be. I feel like it's gonna be, a little tear jerky it's gonna be a little um but I don't want to give away too much but yep. <laughs> <laughs> and that's good that's great television when you have the emotions especially the topics that being touched and I want to change gears and talk about the impact that you think the show has brought to the LGBT community um <clears throat> such a significant impact you know um visibility and being able to see someone that you can relate to is so significant um beyond just lgbtqia plus you know just seeing somebody that's pursuing a goal you know a, a dream that they you know have no clue how they're going to attain it i think that that is something that can, is very relatable but um growing up i was dealing with you know the confusion of you know my emotions and things of that nature and felt very alone in a lot of, in all the ways, you know? And so, um, and definitely couldn't talk to anyone about it or anything like that. So, um, you know, having a character like Hattie on television is, is, it's like, I think it's so significant because it'll, it'll make somebody feel like they're not by themselves, even though we're on a planet with millions of people, clearly, you know, you can still feel very alone, you know? Yes. Um, and so having that um, access to being able to see a character that is confident, who is themselves and gonna be uniquely and genuinely them, I think that that is encouraging. Um, and For I've sure. Heard, had people tell me such. Like watching it, I feel like you can be anyone's best friend. Um, if yeah. you're part of the LGBT community or not, you're just down to earth, you're cool, you're real, no fakeness going on with Hetty whatsoever. You're just so relatable. You're doing an amazing job with the character. Would any of you be following like Black Twitter on social media, seeing the reactions online, engaging with any of your fans? Do you do that at all or are going to? I should work on it. I'm, I'm like Mia. I have to work on my social media game. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna work on it. It could be fun. It could be fun, but I I haven't engaged really, so I I'm not. I can't answer that really well. <laughs> yeah. 
I, I love talking to people and meeting new people. It's just, you know, when it comes to social media, sometimes people think now y'all pen pals. And I'm like, no, friend. Got to set the boundaries. Yeah, you know, and it's, it's not anything personal. It's just like, I got real life friends that and real life family that are requiring my time and energy and I don't really, you know, have time for my social media. You know what I'm saying? Like they be, you know, anyway, yeah, it's it's it, I think it's great getting to know people and um hearing about how they feel about the characters and stuff like that. But yeah, social media is a tricky one though. Yeah. What are some feedback that you have gotten from a fan, like a, a memorable moment that you saw online or someone in person you said that said thank you for your character because have you ever had one of those moments that stick out to you? Um, I would say the most significant moment that stuck out was when we were doing a premiere in DC, someone approached my mother and told her how basically seeing this character and then hearing about and seeing her at the premiere supporting me being this character how significant that was to them because you know they had had some issues with their mother dealing with coming out and things of that nature and you know I'm very open about how you know my mom wasn't feeling it initially which is fine because you know it takes us time to accept and understand ourselves so of course you know you should give a lot that same time to the people that you love you know as well so um it was just they just spoke about how it how it inspired them to maybe think that they could get to that point with their parents um and you know um girl they were crying and stuff I was like my mama was crying I was like what is happening um, <laughs> but it's it's a it's a thing and you know it's it's significant because these people you love them so much but at the same time you want to be yourself you, you want to love yourself too so um yes. I think that's the most significant thing that people have told me they've gotten from the show is you know love yourself and be yourself and then all everything will fall into place and you know that's right how about you Gabrielle yeah, I think people responded the most to um, the Todd episode in season in season one. People really like the Todd episode. Yeah, people did love the Todd episode. And I think Todd, I think I feel like Todd is like really the the Karens of today. Um, and a lot of people coming up to me and 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 talking about their struggles and like standing up to to white people that have made them feel um, less than or small, and still being able to be bold and being like, nah, this is just be yeah still being able to be bold and, and yourself in front of them is like is um uh, I'm losing my my train of thought is I know you're saying talking about Karen's <laughs> yeah no is a form is a form of protest that's what I'm saying it's is it's, it's a form of protest that you don't have to be you know on the streets advocating like doing simple things like that is is a is a is a major form of protest mm -hmm. absolutely i guess i'll end with during our current climate we're still in the midst of a pandemic and a lot of people don't know which way they want to go in the world but before the pandemic people had a lot of aspirations to enter in the entertainment industry especially black women who aren't really seen aspire still to become actresses you both are doing the damn thing what would you say to those Black women out there who aspire to be an actress and yeah. be on BET like you both are doing right now? What would you yeah. say to them? Um, I would say time does not stop, sis. You know, like, regardless of what's going on in the world right now, each day we're going to get another 24 hours to try to do it again. And um, we're only getting older. And not to say that that makes you less likely to achieve anything, but I would say try to get to your goal as soon as possible so that you can be in it and enjoy it for as long as possible, you know? So there's no time like the present, you know? Um, I, I know it's a lot going on in the world and stuff like that, but it's always going to be a lot going on. You know, there's always going to be that one thing, even if we didn't have the COVID um, um, situation going on and stuff like that, it would be another reason somebody would come up with as to why they're not ready, why they're, so basically like, 
either you're going to do it or you're not, basically, you know, um, if you really want something, then, then nothing's going to stop you from achieving it because you're going to say, well, I got me and I got God. And that's really what all, that's all you need, really, in my opinion. That's all you need. We're out of time. Thank you, Jojo. Thank you, Gabrielle. Keep up the great work. I can't wait to see the rest of the season. Yes, ma'am. Watch, watch the show October 13th, 10 o'clock, BT, BT, her. Peace. Bye, y'all. Mm -hmm.